Hey, what's up guys, it's Arnik and welcome to this week's video. This has really been a while since I last sat down with you, hasn't it? But now I'm finally back and with a whole lot of new ideas for this channel. So let's kick this year off with a new trend that I noticed on many UI pages on Instagram as well as on Behance. And that one is glass morphism. And here is how it looks like. Basically, it is a way of overlaying whatever's happening in the background with a frosted glass-like object, diffusing and blurring everything behind it. I think it's a really cool style to add a little more interest and focus on specific things. And the best thing about it is that we can actually achieve it with only After Effects native tools. No plugins needed at all. But enough with the talking. Let's get it on. To achieve this frosted glass look, we actually don't need much more than a couple of shape layers. And not even a fancy combination of effects. It is a surprisingly basic workflow, so let's dive in there. First you need to create a shape layer of any kind you like. I will have mine as a rectangle with rounded corners. Next you need to convert this into an adjustment layer, by checking this box underneath the moon-like icon. And by the way, if you can't see this one, simply click down here or hit F4 on your keyboard to toggle between the modes. Okay, so now we get to the effects. First you add the fast box blur. Set the blur radius to something about 20 and increase the iterations to maybe 10. For the object itself, you could leave it flat as it is now and probably get away with it in most cases. But let me show you a quick little tip on how to add a little more depth. Add a circular mask. So make sure masking is activated on the top and make a small ellipse in the center. Invert your mask with the checkbox over here and hit F on your keyboard to bring up the feathering option. And boost this one up to something around 250, maybe even 300. And finally, reduce the mask expansion if needed. And that is already looking pretty good. Next, you want to duplicate the glass layer. So highlight the layer, Ctrl and Command D to duplicate, and turn it back into a solid layer by smacking that moon again. Delete the blur effect from this layer as we don't really need it here. Make sure your object is all white and reduce its opacity way down. So hit T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity and set it to about 8 to maybe 12. That will add this milky effect to it all. Lastly, duplicate this layer again. So Ctrl or Command and D. Remove the fill and add a stroke of maybe 8 pixels and make sure it's white as well. And finally, increase the opacity just slightly to about 15, maybe 20 max, not more. For the most of it, this is what needs to be done to achieve this look. And now all that is left to do is to add a few additional elements and make it all move together. Well, and there you have it. <laughs> Man, it really fits good to be back. And I'm super excited for all the projects coming up in the future. Nonetheless, I'm keen to hear what kind of things you would like to see on this channel. And if you want to see more of this face, feel free to smash it in right now to subscribe and ring that bell for a new video every week. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!